Daddy, what are you doing out there? Okay, come here. I'll show you. So, okay, come here. I'm gonna put the breakfast cereal in the sun. You see here? Daddy, why do you put the breakfast cereal in the sun? That's a good question. Yes, that's right. And that's a little bit strange. My name is Bill and today it's all about the strange things that is opposite in Thailand than in the Western world. I'm gonna tell you about the breakfast cereal a little bit later, but for now, let's focus on the next strange thing in Thailand. Take your shoe off when you go to the post office. Yeah, that seems a little bit strange, but here in Thailand, uh, especially outside of Bangkok, and also if you visit smaller businesses, you have to take off your shoes. It's kind of like a matter of showing respect, but it's also just plain and simple. It's easier for them to clean. Yeah, here you can see me going to the local post office and I have to take my shoes off. Also, uh, people actually get a little bit of attitude if you don't take your shoes off. Fun fact. Selena here. But we don't do that in Thailand. We do like this. The next on the list is don't talk about something bad that could happen. When I first moved to Thailand, I would say things like, yeah, it's good to have an insurance in case of an accident or something like that. But then now I stopped saying that because here, you don't talk about bad things that can happen. It's kind of like an omen. The more you think about good things that could happen, the more you make it likely to happen, right? On the other hand, you don't really get to prevent bad situations, so it can be a disadvantage as well. And that brings me to the next point. Don't try to prevent accidents. This may sound a little bit strange, but maybe the logic behind it is what we already talked about that okay by talking about or planning something bad that could happen you are making it less likely to come true of course this has huge disadvantages as well especially if you look at it from a western point of view so as an example you could think about the flood in my neighborhood. So every time it rains for two or three hours here, the driveway and the road outside, it's totally flooded, even after like one or two hours of rain. So of course, if they planned a little bit better and cleaned the sewage uh, or the, you know, the drainage before the rain arrived, then we could avoid those sort of things. Fun fact. In Europe, you might eat strawberry with sugar, but in Thailand, uh, we eat strawberry with salt. Okay, so one thing that I should have talked about in the beginning of this video is the inspiration or the reason that I made this video. I sort of forgot it in the beginning. So when I moved to Thailand, it's about 10 years ago, I asked a lot of questions like, why is it like that? Why is it like this? And you know, my wife would say, oh, something, something like this, something like that. And then I would say, oh, it's opposite uh, compared to where I'm from. And I'm from Norway originally. So now I lived here for 10 years. Eventually, every time I would say, oh, it's opposite compared to where I'm from, right? So eventually my wife would just say, oh, opposite, remember? Why is it like this? Why is it like that? Is the complete opposite so it became like a internal joke that we had and it's so many things here in thailand you feel it's the complete opposite of what you're used to so i thought yeah why not talk about some of these things so monkhood versus manhood that sounds a little bit strange what is that all about here in thailand it's pretty normal for young adults to spend some time in a temple where they like live as a monk, literally, for maybe a week or three months or something like that. It's like a rite of passage where they do this before they become like real adults to sort of embed themselves into the culture. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, they have a few strange rituals that they do 
uh, in association with this. For example, they will shave off all of the hair of the guy who is going to be a monk for a while. So you can see children at the age of seven down to seven years old in temples living like monks here in Thailand. But it's more normal when you are in your 20s and you can expect that about 50% of all Thai male adults go through this in their lives. I want to ask you if you could press the like button if you like this video. Yeah, I know it's sort of lame. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> when is he gonna ask? Um, yeah, so press the like button and let's move on to the next, which is chasing shadows, not sun. This is actually a little bit similar to how it was in Europe a couple of hundred years ago where women High-class women didn't want to get any suntan. They didn't want to be associated with people working out in the fields. So they still have this sort of thinking in Thailand. But of course here it is a little bit more dangerous with the sun. It's, it's extremely hot and it could actually be dangerous to be in the sun even for half an hour. So it's a little bit more justified than uh, it was back in Europe. But this is pretty much the opposite, right, of the Western thinking. Fun fact. You might be using a knife for your dinner. But in Thailand, we use a spoon instead of a knife. The next one is quite crazy. Uh, you probably know that driving, you know, in Thailand, they drive on the left side of the road. So when I say that the next point is drive in the opposite direction, I don't actually mean driving on the wrong side of the road. I mean literally driving against the traffic, which is pretty crazy here. I myself actually had an almost accident. I was going to Tesco Lotus, which is connected to my neighborhood. So when I go out on the main road, you can only turn left. So when I turned left, I was looking right because the traffic was coming from there. I only looked left when I, you know, turned and then there was a motorbike or, or like a scooter right in my face and he was driving in the opposite direction. Yeah, I was a little bit pissed. I was screaming at him and he was a little bit stunned. I'm not used to this. Every time this happened, still, I'm like spooked because it's so weird and unusual and scary. The reason that they drive in the opposite direction is basically that they don't want to go far to take a U-turn. So they just uh, do the easy way. Did you know that? Fun fact. Christmas is originally a light festival. Here in Thailand, we have Songkran to celebrate the new year. During this holiday, we squirt water on each other because it is so hot. Okay, here's one for the sports fans. Did you ever dream about playing two sports at the same time? Now you can. It's called Sepak Takao, and it's a sort of mix between volleyball and soccer. So they play, I would say, <laughs> the way I would sum it up is like, yeah, they play volleyball with their feet. And here they play it from a very young age. When I first saw this, I thought it was like a modern fusion between volleyball and soccer. But when I looked into it, it turned out to be a ancient tradition that has been around for 500 years, actually. Okay, the next one is send your child to do the fight for you. But back in Norway, when I was nine years old, I wanted to learn Kung Fu, but I was fighting a lot. So my foster parents, they didn't want me to learn it because they thought the fighting would just worsen, right? But here in Thailand, they send their children to learn martial arts when they are down to almost like a toddler, two, three, four, or five years old. But this is not necessarily a bad thing. They learn a lot of good stuff like discipline, how to work, you know, towards a goal. And many both physical and mental skill set is developed from that. If you've seen other videos on this channel, you probably seen my daughter, Selena, do Muay Thai, and she has a lot of fun doing that. This channel is for parents who want to help their children develop their skills, also to get a glimpse into Thai culture, which this video is all about. If you want to see more 
Muay Thai videos, I would suggest you check out our video that I'm going to link down below. It's about safety when you do Muay Thai for children. Okay, so this one is also something that they do opposite in Thailand compared to the Western world. Don't correct people when they are wrong. Okay, what do I mean by that? Uh, I had a friend here for a while, he lived here, and he was a film or movie producer. So he was a foreigner here, he was from Norway, and he was producing a Thai team. So once in a while he had to tell them, don't do like this, and please tell your friend or the, the colleague, don't do like that, right? Uh, but then they would say, like, sorry, I cannot tell my colleague not to do this because he's older than me. It basically has to do with respect here and status. There are many things that decide your status in Thailand. One of them is age. Not necessarily, not always, but most of the time, given that all other factors are equal, then the oldest person will have higher status. You want to know about the breakfast cereal, right? Okay, so take a look at this. That's a good question. Sometimes we get ants in the breakfast cereal. When I put it here, we get so much sun, it's so hot that all the ants just disappear. And then I can eat my food. These are the terrific quirks that we were going to go through in this video. If you have some very strange habits in your hometown, then drop a comment down below and we'll compare notes. Until the next video, keep the sunny side up, just like the breakfast cereal here in Thailand.